Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here with some more Arclash Legacy, the single player tactical RPG with an active pause system. So I took a look at this game the other day in a checkout video and I wanted to give you guys some more content. Number one, I really like it. And number two, I have finished through the preview build which was about, I think two to three hours of total playtime. And I thought that there were just some more interesting fights that I'd like to show you. So I'm gonna be starting off here uh, in this particular cabinet cavernous area and yeah we have some new fights to uh to engage in and hopefully show you some of the complexities uh when it comes to playing this game uh, also i've got a brand new ally added to my roster immediately after the last video finished uh this new guy lek loris was added to our team so i had mentioned in the last video that you have up to eight people that you can choose from and what'll happen is you slowly unlock them as you make your way through the campaign. Now this new guy, Lek Loris, he is a magical caster. Uh, you can take a look, his damage type is magic. You've got the damage range, basic stat information to, for him. Uh, his advantage is the fact that he does regenerate mana uh, with each attack. His weakness is the fact that he's got no physical armor. So physical attacks are really, uh, really potent against him. Now, in terms of his skill tree, well, for some reason we can't look at it at the moment. Uh, that's probably because we're in combat, so let me just show it to you here. Uh, his base abilities that I've got access to right now are first this Death Witch. It's a casted ability that does damage over time. However, if the opponent is still cursed during that time period when he dies, then he'll explode for massive damage to enemies around him. Well, enemies to you. Yeah, uh, and then there's also a direct uh, projectile magic damage for 400 damage, and then later on I will unlock a fear as well as a magic debuff. Okay, so let's take a look at the opposition here. Uh, we have got a Reaper Priest along with a Reaper and a couple of skeletons and in armor. So the Reaper Priest, uh, 70 physical and magical defense. He has got the ability to reduce physical armor as well as a heal. And then the Reaper, let's see what he has. He projects a ball. Do, 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 do. Uh, he projects a ball of energy that reduces healing received. That's it? Wow, that guy's really weak. Okay, so we're going to kill the Reaper Priest first. I'm going to make quick work of him. I'm uh, just going to run in there and do a massive cleave to him. And then we will throw this projectile at him and we'll do a chain spell and then i'll just have him go straight for the attack just like that so this should be pretty quick here this priest should drop in just a moment just like that okay now that that is over let's throw up his defenses and then we will heal him and we'll have him switch his target to the reaper and then we're gonna drop a curse on him and i'm gonna do a chain lightning to him as well and then wenderu is gonna move up Throw down a heal. Oh no, that heal missed. That's what I get for not pausing. Oh my lord. <laughs> that heal completely missed. Okay, well I'm gonna... Oh, that's terrible. Well, hopefully we at least get this AoE damage. There we go. Got the AoE damage because I, the guy who was cursed had died before it had diminished. So now I can actually just run him around momentarily until I get another heal. Yeah, we've got another heal available. So let's move him back over here. And then we will throw the heal at him just like that. And we can just cast some projectiles or whatever. A quick work of the last bit of these guys. If I don't need to pause, then I won't. I won't be using all my abilities to their full effectiveness in that case. But um, it also makes the fights uh, just a little more active and engaging. Okay, so let's see. We came from this direction. We're going to move up. Actually, let me quickly check over here. I don't know if there was any... I don't think there was anything over there. I always got to check just in case there were chests or something like that. Don't want to miss up on some sweet loot, huh? Now, in the preview build, I get access to two brand new characters. So we've got this first one right here, like Loris. And then further down the road, I get access to a, a, a ranged a physical damage dealer. So I'll probably do another video to show you more combat, a couple of boss fights, and then that additional unit. All right, so let's take a look at what we have right here. We have got a skeleton mage. Uh, he has got fingers of death and hand of death. These are both projectiles that pass through targets and deal pretty massive damage. So you got really got to pay attention when you see him starting to cast it. Uh, and then and I've got the demonic satire here, which is, let's see, it's a three second cast. It does a projectile that explodes and does damage. And then when it gets close to dying, it will self-sacrifice itself, exploding to do damage. And then the Reaper Priest, who is the healer. So I think we will probably, I think just going straight for the Reaper Priest for some massive damage is probably the best course of action. So we're just going to go straight for that, just like this. 
And this should be pretty quick work, to be honest with you. And I'm just gonna pay attention, so who is he casting? So he is casting an ability right now on this person. So once this starts moving, I'm actually gonna to want to move her back. But we're gonna grab the priest super quick. That was really funny how fast the priest died. And then what I think we'll do is I'm actually gonna focus on the skeleton mage um, with these guys. So we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna go straight for the skeleton mage and actually like you to defense up as well. And then have her go for it. And I think I think I'm just gonna move her back so that, cause what'll happen is once this projectile hits, uh, once this projectile hits, it's going to explode in an area effect. So I want my guys to not be near it when that happens. Now he's starting to cast his ability too and he's actually targeting like Loris. So I wanna make sure when that gets through that no one else is in its path so that no one else takes damage. And I also want to move like Loris in the process. So we're just gonna move him over here like that. And there are some summons. Okay, so there is that. And then the pass through is actually going for that guy, so that's fine. And I think we're actually doing okay. I don't think we're gonna get this in time. No, it doesn't look like we are, but that's fine. I'm gonna drop an area of effect heal on the enemy, so once this activates, it will blow up to AoE heal all my friends. And then I am also going to want to reposition him to do some healing on the other side here. Okay. So we're gonna heal. I need to get him in the right position. There we go. I'm gonna heal right here, just like that. Perfect. And then he actually un he actually leveled up, so he's unlocked the fear now. Uh, so with that fear, I'm gonna get rid of the demonic satire right there, and then I think we will just refocus our energies onto this guy, just like that. And let me drop a heal on Konka as well. Okay, wonderful. So we're gonna drop a fear on the satire, that'll activate. Just like that. And now he's feared, so he's running around like a big goof. It doesn't last too long, I think it only lasts five seconds, but that's five seconds of less damage. So. And where's his thing going? He's going to here, so that's fine. And actually I want to move him closer so he gets the AoE heal. There it is. Awesome, that worked out perfect. Okay, now some more damage. We will go straight for the satire here. And actually, let me do the cast and then this, and then here, and then you, and then make sure you are also focused the satire. So we're gonna do the AoE curse. Once it lands, I've got 10 seconds to kill him. And then if I do it in that time, we get some AoE damage. And that is just absolutely glorious. Why don't we self-heal here? And get some more chain damage going on that guy. Excellent. And we actually got another level up, so that means we give, got some skill points that we can drop down. And there's a chest over there. But before we get into this predicament, let's go ahead and take a look at our <laughs> leveling up abilities. So we're gonna upgrade this for him. Uh, continue to upgrade down this tree. Uh, for this guy, I get to pick what I want to upgrade. Why don't we go with... Why don't we go with Punishment of the Curse? This is the direct damage dealer there. Actually, no, he doesn't have a... Oh, I can't. He's got no points. Okay, whatever. Uh, continue to upgrade the self-heal for him. He actually has two levels. And this one will continue to go down there. Okay, that is everybody. Let's also take a look at the gear that we have. Uh, 45 HP max for this, as well as some magic damage. Uh, this is more HP, but the other one has physical armor, so I think I'm going to keep that for him. And then I don't think any of my other guys need it. So yeah, you can see if this is my full list of five guys, eventually it'll be a total of eight. And I've got this guy right here just sitting out while we uh, play with Lech Loris instead. All right, so let's take a look at any other gear that I picked up. I also got this. This is actually nice, 5% to physical damage. Uh, 11 magic armor, 5 resist. Well, physical damage is only... This guy's physical damage, but I don't want to replace his healing done because he is my healer. Uh, physical damage does him no good. Actually, he needs gear. He doesn't have, like, anything at all. Holy moly. Oh, yeah, it is, it is because I just literally... I just picked him up. Um, we might as well get this for the magic armor and the magic resist unless uh, my tank could use this. Um, Actually... This is more physical damage, and it's physical armor. 
and magic resist oh magic armor yeah we're this is an upgrade okay and then we'll give this other thing here to like loris there we go wonderful okay so i said that this is a predicament that we're about to get into and you'll see why right now we open the chest and then we've got a lot of baddies <laughs> surrounding us and some pretty uh, terrifying ones as well so we've got Four guys back here, uh, two melee guys. They can pretty much be ignored. The only dangerous thing is if they start chasing my casters, but I've really got to deal with these guys back here. We've got a Reaper. Uh, he is the one who does the healing debuff. We've got the Priest. You know what the Priest does. We've got a Satire, and then we've got the Skeleton Mage, which tosses out that ethereal thing. So the first thing's first. Um, kill the Priest. <laughs> first thing is first, we kill the Priest. So we're going to go here. And then we're going to drop it from this position. And then here, and drop this from this position. And then you are just going to go straight for him with a chain. Actually, you know what? You probably don't need to. I think I'm just going to have her do a basic attack, because I think I've got enough damage from the other guys uh, to, to, for that to be completely unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> that was way... So there we go. I just saved mana with her, basically. Okay, so he's about to throw a cast at this guy, which will continue to pass through him. Uh, so I need to get him into a position where it's not going to hit the opponent. So why don't we go, I'm going to go right now, run straight for this guy. So when this cast, it'll move in that direction. And my guys should pretty much be safe at that point. So we're going to have him go to here. And then we will drop his, we will drop his armor and then his heal. And then he will go for an attack. Uh, we will also have you attack the satire straight away. And then why don't you just move over here, attack the satire, and then you over here, just like that. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so that was coming in that direction. Didn't quite move him in time, but that's fine. Get another one of them casted right away. So let's move him out of the way. Let's move him out of the way, just like that. And then let's move you out of the way. And then I think you will go... This guy is weak to magic, I believe. Yes, he is. So what we will do is we will have you cast that on him. And I will have you cast that on him and then why don't you go straight for him too yeah that's fine i think that this will work good because we should be able to kill him and have it explode and do that aoe damage and oh wow i just almost lost my one guy here wonder Real. now there is a um there is the ability to there is the ability to summon fallen heroes, so it's not necessarily the end of the world if you lose, if one of your guys dies in combat. But still, you know, you don't want it to happen if, if it's at all avoidable, so. So you try to avoid it. But yeah, I think it says, I, I, you might just, yeah, you, well, you'll just be able to reload, never mind, you'll just be able to reload the checkpoint. For, for some reason, I thought that the game was, like, over when you lost one of your characters in combat, but it technically is, but all you have to do is reload the last checkpoint, so not, not literally. Okay, so we picked up some more gear here, so let's take a look at this, 7% uh, healing done. Let's ch ch check out Wonderoo. Eh, this one's got magic armor with it too uh, we also have physical damage magic damage and magic armor in the earring and then magic armor and magic def oh, we got a bunch of stuff here okay so physical damage uh seven so let's take a look at conca magic oh wait that's the one that i replaced i think magic damage six percent what is this one here? Oh, she's got a really good one. Okay, so we'll throw that on you. And um, I guess you don't have anything, so you might as well take that even though you don't have any healing. And then we have got uh, physical armor, magic armor, and mana regeneration. Nah, kind of like the one that you have. Good, take that. Uh, magic damage, ooh, actually. Yeah, take the extra magic damage, absolutely, okay. And now I didn't talk about this in the last video, but this game has a recycle system where you can recycle your items, and then once it fills up, you will get a rare item of that type. Now I'm gonna wait till I have more items in order to do that, although I don't even know if I'll end up doing that here in this video, but it's a pretty cool system. Basically, you, you'll recycle a ton of items, and then whatever, you know, whatever item piece you want, be it an amulet, ring, earrings, or, uh, or relic, you'll make sure that's the last item that you recycle, and then you will get an epic item of that type. Uh, you don't 
I don't think there's any way to tell exactly what's on it, as far as I can tell, but it'll be epic, so epic is good. All right, got another chest here. Hopefully this one doesn't trigger a trap. I actually don't remember. Oh, ho, ho. I got an epic item right there. Wow, 60 HP, physical armor, magic armor, dodge, and critical hit chance. That is a tanky item if I've ever seen one. Holy heck, that is amazing. And this one is dodge and crit chance. Nah. What else did we get here? We got this, physical armor, physical damage. Take that for him. And then that's that. Wow, we got a really nice tank item. That's exciting. Okay. So we should have at least one more engagement here in this cavern. Actually, there should be a couple more. All right, so let's take a look here. Another engagement. I want to see what all the enemies are before I decide who I'm picking. All right, so we got a lot of guys to go up against here. Uh, we've got two satires. They are the ones who sacrifice and then also throw a projectile. Two of those are kind of scary. Uh, but then besides that, oh, no, skeleton archers, actually. I thought we had all skeletons in armor. Uh, the archers, let's see, they do an arrow that fires through all units for magical damage, and then cold blood is slowing this. Hmm. Okay, so I think the satires are going to be my main target. They are both weak to physical, so physical is what I'm hitting them with hard. I'm going to go Wanderu as well. And then, actually, why don't I also drop a curse on him? And then we'll use Nella to finish it off if necessary. Yeah, make this quicker. Oh, no. Whew. Should be fine. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm a little bit worried, though, actually. I'm a little bit worried about my friend here. Um, okay, he's fine. Good. All right, so take the archers out next. Lek Loris needs to move. Wonderoo needs to move. We need to drop that down. You need to throw this. You need to heal. And you actually, we've got the curse now, so let's drop the curse on. And then get these guys nice and close for the AoE to finish it off. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, and then I think we're pretty much all set at this point. I don't think we have too much to worry about right now. I'm just gonna heal him up, go for him. Just run away, throw this down. Yeah, 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 we're, oh no, that completely missed. <laughs> and then just, you know, micro these guys back or whatever, I don't know. Do 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 Awesome. <laughs> uh, man, I, I really do like the combat in this game. I like the pause. And the funny thing is, this, this, these fights get so intense with there being so many enemies that without the pause system, it would not... You, not impossible, but just incredibly difficult is what I would say. Okay, so we've got a huge warrior here. Let's take a look at what he has. After a cast time, he taunts an enemy. Okay, so it gets an increase there. And also charges an enemy and knocks him down for 10 seconds. Or, yeah. And then... That's really good. Uh, and then this is going to be 300 physical damage, and then he's got this here, which blocks naturally the use of damage skills within 5 meters around him. Huh. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, besides that, two skeleton, uh, skeletal mage and a skeletal priest. The priest has the heal. The skeletal mage has got that damage that passes through targets. We also have a reaper and two skeletons in armor. So, how do I approach this fight? I guess I will just tank damage here 
um, with the warrior. So let me go, probably going to go this and then shield, heal, and then just go with that. And then I need to focus some of these guys. Okay, he is pretty weak. So we're going to go straight for him uh, with this, have her run over for him. And then I'm going to grab Black Loris to target him. And uh, yeah, we're going straight for the priest there. Got to take him down as fast as possible with our abilities. Oh, I need to get out of his range. I wasn't able to uh, cast stuff. That was kind of scary, actually. Okay. Heal. Oh, no, I definitely tried to click to move you. Why can't you move? He's stuck in place. Oh, no. Oh, no, he is stuck in place. All right. Is this guy... This guy's physical. This guy's weak to magic, so we're going to cast on him. Well, let me actually go. I'm going to do that. And then... Ooh, that was really scary for a second. That was really, really scary for a second. All right, wonderful. I think we're doing okay. I need to watch out for the pass through here from the archer who is targeting this girl right here. Um, let me actually, yeah, you just sit right there. You're going to go, why don't we fear him actually? Is this quick enough? Oh no, it wasn't quite quick enough. But the fear still gets, gets off nonetheless. And then I think we should be good. I don't know about that, actually. Steal life. Go for a heal. You've got a, you've got a self heal that you can throw down, so you're gonna do that. And then we can take out these guys. Keep, keep her moving, keep her moving. Blow it up. Some nice AoE. Wenderu really needs to heal soon. So let's steal some health. Heal that. No, she's fine, don't worry. All right. Well, looks like we are okay. <laughs> It just gets a little intense, you know, there's a lot you gotta constantly pay attention to to make sure you're keeping your guys alive and all that jazz. And uh, that results in, quite honestly, a really, really fun uh, combat experience. So, I guess that's pretty much gonna do it again. I just wanted to show you guys some more combat and show you off a little bit of uh, Mr. Lech Loris here. But yeah, once again, this has been a look at Arclash Legacy. Expect probably at least one more video from me of this preview build. Uh, at the very least, I'd like to show you some of the upcoming boss fights that I thought were kind of pretty crazy. Thanks guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. Let's see what we can, I'll just cast some stuff here out of combat. Take a look at the combat animations in this game are pretty good. Like the visuals look pretty solid. Just throw a spell. I don't even know that doesn't really do anything. Can you do anything? Yeah, why don't you cast a heal? Love it.